Tukisemea kwamba wastahili Sifa za mioyo yetu Tunakuabudu ewe mtakatifu wa watakatifu Nakuabudu
Haleluya. Na sasa uh, tuko na nafasi nzuri ya kusikia neno la Bwana. Tukiletewa naye askofu wetu a uh, daktari askofu Motegi Medile. Tumshangilie anapokuja. Haleluya, 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 haleluya. Those that are watching us from their places of work, from their uh, from the comfort of their homes, Maybe they are going through a terrible moment of sickness or they have been on night duty and now you're resting wherever you are. Others are on a journey. Uh, maybe you want to crush your matter to cover uh, today and you happen to have some time to watch us um, through our, our YouTube or through uh, Facebook, you feel welcome and you feel that you are loved. You feel that God uh, gives every, every uh, circumstance for a certain uh, lesson or teaching. And therefore, do not blame the circumstance or situation which you're going through. You only take the advantage of that and be able to do uh, what you're required to do. Those that are not been with us, uh, we have been sharing on maturity and Christian service. And today we want to come to the conclusion of Christian uh, uh, service uh, and maturity by sharing the benefits of maturity in Christian service. Because when you uh, mature up as you serve, and as you, you see maturity of Christianity or, or Christian service comes as a result of your repeatedly serving the Lord and making sure you are doing it in accordance to the will of the Father. I would like us to go to the scripture in St. Luke chapter 16, verses 10, 11, and 12. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So, if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will, so if you are not, who will trust you with the true riches? We have the eternal riches, which are the true riches. And what, so that you can receive them, you are assessed on how you are dealing with your boundary wealth. If you have not been trustworthy with someone else property, who will give you property of your own? Five benefits above, above many others of your service as you mature and as you serve there are benefits and i want to share with us five meaning that somebody will start there do not despise the humble beginning where god has put where god has put you and i would like us to read uh, i will not spend a lot of time but we are in the scriptures because and it becomes good when the scriptures speak to us. Let's go to Matthew chapter 25, 19 to 30. Uh, as I share with you the first benefit of maturity in Christian service. Matthew chapter 25, 19 to 30. The scripture says, after a long time, the master of these servants returned and a certain account with them. 
The man who had received five talents brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with the five talents. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a very uh, with, a, very, with a, a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with the two talents also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with the two talents. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received the one talent came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man. Harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I, I was afraid and went and aimed your talent in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you weakened, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not shown and gather where I have not got a scattered seed. Well, then you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I return, I would have received it back with interest. Take the talent from him and give it to the one who under the least talents. That's what your Bible says. Give it to the one who under the least talents. Simoni Sandia Kusoma. The one who under the least talents. Take the talent from him and give it to the one who had the ten talents. For everyone who has will be given more. Everyone who has will be given more. Everybody who will serve will be given more as you mature. Whosoever does not have even what he has will be taken from him. And throw that worthless servant outside. I don't know when you weigh yourself, where do you, where do you stand? Are you worthless? Or you are worthful? And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, the first benefit of maturity in Christian service is that you gain more knowledge of from God or of God as God prepares you for a higher level of service. As you mature and serve the Lord as a Christian, you gain more knowledge of God. Also, God prepares you for a higher level of service. The one, all those who didn't and they and interest, they were promised one thing. And they were praised in the same way. He was told, thank you, you good and a faithful servant. Come and enjoy the happiness of your master. Whether God gave you two, whether God gave you five, whether God gave you ten, whether God gave you one, 
when you serve well, God promotes you. God gives you more in your hands to serve the Lord there. God releases unto you more resources so that you can be able to do well because ministry uh, uh, money uh, does not come beyond ministry. It comes to help in ministry. And therefore, when we do ministry, when we do Christian service, and Christian service is not what we are just doing here. No, it is where God has placed you. Wherever God has put you, whether you are a businessman or a businesswoman, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a doctor, whether you are a pilot, whether you are an engineer, whether you are you you sell service of the service or you sell service because of the skills God has risen to you. That's what I am calling Christian service. And as you mature, God releases you more knowledge and also he gives you more to serve. And he takes you closer to him, himself. Because as you enjoy the happiness of God, there is nothing as sweet as when you serve the Lord and you enjoy the happiness in the Lord. That's why David in the midst of confusion, when the, their city was burned and the people wanted to kill him, the Bible says he strengthened himself in the Lord. There is nothing as sweet as living under the grace, under the joy, under the presence of God. That's why you don't come and enjoy. I declare me you enjoy the master's the master's joy as you serve him. I declare me you enjoy your master's happiness as you serve him in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord release his joy in your life. May the Lord release his happiness in your life, in your children, in your business, in everything that you do. May the Lord release his happiness. Benefit number two. Let's go to Genesis chapter five. Uh, sorry, chapter that nine verses one and five. Genesis chapter thirty-nine verses one to five. Now Joseph has been taken down to Egypt. Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of the Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard, brought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him there. The Lord was with Joseph and he prospered and he lived in the house and he prospered as and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did. I declare may the Lord give you success in whatever you do. I declare may you succeed in whatever you do. May you succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Joseph found favor in the eyes and became his attendant. You see, he is being promoted now. He is now attending the big man. Fortifer put him in charge of his household. And he entrusted to him, uh, to his care, everything he owned. From the time he put him in charge of his household and of all that he owned, the Lord blessed the household of Egyptian of the Egyptian because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on. Everything Fortifar had, both in the house and in the field. Now, let me tell you, when you mature in Christian service, God blesses others through your service. As you serve, even if you are sweeping, in whatever you are doing, 
when you serve and you are a mature person because we saw that mature people do not murmur they do not complain they do not blame others they serve you know when you when you do that one in maturity others are blessed those that are working those that are living around you the villagers living around you your neighbors as you serve the lord let me tell you when you serve faithfully the lord will bless others through you may you become a blessing to your neighbors May you become an, a, a blessing to those who are doing business close to you. May the Lord bless those that are under you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless your boss that you are working under because of you. Ask yourself, are you a blessing to those that live around you? When they, when they, when they are touched with you, what blessings do they have? ni mateta ama ni maabuse ama ni ma ni mavitu kuna watu ambao ambao ni problem kwa watu ambao wanaishi nimewahi kuona watu wakiishi pamoja wakiishi pamoja wanaishi kama enemies nimewahi kuona katika staff room nimewahi kuona viondo vikifungwa viki na na kufuri mama amefunga mama mwalimu mzima amefunga chondo na kufuri Uh, ile ameweka chakula asinje akawekewa uchawi unajua kuna watu wanaishi kama maandui hata nyumbani kuna watu ambao wanaishi mke na mume wanaishi kama ni watu wawili wanaishi nyumba moja mahali utasikia mke ameiba ameiba mzee ametafuta kibeti mahali kiko kwa sababu kinaendanga kila wakati akienda choo ako nayo akienda bathroom akichange mefuto siku ile utasahau hiyo ipatikane utakipata kuna watu ambao si mbaraka kwa watu ambao wanaishi pamoja na wao Yusufu alipouzwa kama mjakazi akauzwa kama house boy the scripture says the lord was with him he was with him wherever he was and he blessed and you see another thing as others are being blessed uh, blessed through you you also attract their attention and you don't only attract good attentions you also attract evil attentions yes ukiweka mwanga uziku unaonanga vitu vinavyokuja kwa mwanga mwanga ni wakumulika lakini utaona vipepeu utaona vindundu vingine vimekuja katika mwanga ule kwa hivyo unapokuwa mtu wa wakubariki wengine uta attract good and evil and that's why you're supposed to take care of yourselves you're supposed to take care of yourselves and therefore but i wanted to you to know uh, as you serve one of the benefit is that you become a blessing kuna watu ambao they are so egocentric others are barikiwi kupitia kwenu mnakaa hapo tu ni wewe you are the only one everything that belongs to you it is for i me and myself those three people I me and myself kuna watu wako namna hiyo you are not a blessing kila wakati nikutaka kunyakua kutoka kwa watu you are never a blessing number three. let's go to Luke chapter 12 verses 35 36 and 37 be dressed lady for service be dressed ready for service and keep your lamps burning that five that six like men waiting for their master to return from a wending backward so that when he comes and knocks they can immediately open the door for him it will be good this is where i want you to look It will be good for those servants whose master finds them watching when he comes. Blessed. Oh, good are those 
servant whose master finds them watching as he comes. I tell you the truth. He undress himself to her. You can imagine the Lord dressing himself. What, an, what a wonderful thing. He, the Bible says that uh, I tell you, he will dress himself to serve. He will have them recline at the table and will come and wait or serve them. Benefit number three is God will meet your undaring needs as you serve him and serve the community and give your service. The Lord will serve you. The Lord himself. Ata tumana, mungu ata kutumikia. Biblia ya sema ya kwamba kubalikiwa, ni yule ata kayekuta, akitenda, akisav, akisav. Ana unanjua watu wale ambao wanafanya na mna hiyo. Ambao they don't serve because they are being supervised. The Bible says when he comes, blessed are they. Because he will decline. Yani, uh, another, another ni nasema ya kwamba, he will dress, he will put apron. Yani apron ya kuzuia uchafu. Akueke kwa meza. Akuundumie. Nasema ya kwamba, unapo undumia buwana. Kila wakati, me buwana akuundumie. May the Lord serve you. I declare may the Lord serve you. May the Lord serve you. As you serve him, may the Lord serve you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the devil will be anointed. That's why the Bible says, He will come. He will prepare a table before you. In front of your very enemies. I say, as the enemies plan, the Lord will be serving the table. And you will be eating. Utakuwa unakula unono. Hallelujah. Utakuwa unakula unono. Sema nitakuwa nakula unono. Come on, sema nitakuwa nakula unono. Andui ana sababu. Andui ana nguvu. Ya kutawanya meza yako. May the Lord prepare a table before you. They enjoy the Lord when the Lord prepares. Praise the name of the Lord. May the Lord prepare a table before you. May the Lord before you are very enemy. Unajua wakati mungina tunatakanga andu ya ende. Ah ah, wakati mungine mungu ata ata release andu ya ende. Ataka hapo, akishanga shanga, akipanga ma, akipanga ma ofu. Lakini naye mungu ata kuandaria meza. May you receive mwadawa meza ya bwana katika nchino la Yesu Christo. As you serve him, may the Lord prepare a table before you are very enemies in the name of Jesus. Daniel chapter 3 verses 16, 17 and 18. Oh Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the uh, brazen uh, furnace, the God we serve, the God we serve is able. You have a neighbor God. That God that you serve is able. He can only refuse, he can only choose to refuse because he is not, ob, you know, he is not obliged to, to do what you want. But he is able. But even if he does not, listen to that. I say me akwamba if he is unable. The Bible says if he does not, we want you to know, O King, that we will have, we will not serve your gods and worship the images of, of gold you have set before uh, you have set Acts of Apostles for 18 to 20. When they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John replied, judge for yourselves whether it is right in God's sight to obey you, you rather than God. 20. For we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. We cannot help serving. We cannot help. We cannot stop. 
the fourth point is that your ministry will be unmovable by circumstances. It, your services will be stable. It will not be moved by any circumstance. That sign of maturity. You are not going to allow any circumstance that comes around. Move. You are out. Yes. Meaning that there will be progression. There will be, you will not allow any circumstance. That's why these men, these three men, they were saying, Shandrak, Meshach, and Abednego, they were saying, we cannot fail to serve the one that we serve. You want to divert us. There are many things that will divert you from serving the Lord in the right way. There are many that will want to knock you out. There are many that will plan for your evil, the, the, for your fall, uh, downfall, but it's good to know when you serve uh, in the right way, you will be unmovable by any circumstances, even sickness itself, even lack. That's why Paul says, when I, I am contented in every situation, I am used to having food, I am used to sleeping without food, I am used to being clothed, I am used to being naked. Don't allow Allowing any circumstance to interfere with your service, then your maturity is uh, questionable. Don't allow. No circumstance will shake you. Nothing that is supposed to shake you. Others are shaken by little things here. Little things. Unahama. Unahache service yako kwa kanisa. Na hapa nini wambia ukiyama uacha ene ministry. Kesho utakuta. Wengi wanafanya. Bola kukuliko. Wakifanya hiyo ministry. Therefore, it's good that you know your place of service. And I declare that as you serve the Lord, may you be unmovable. May you be unmovable. May the Lord progress in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare may you be unmovable. No circumstance will move you. In whatever you do. Point number five. Let's go to Galatians chapter three. To the Soma Kutoka verses 26 to chapter four verses two. You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in our Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. What I am saying is that as long as the heir is a child, listen to that. Iyondi yonataka. Unanjua, if you are a child, you have not matured. Remember, one time Paul was quoting the church of Corinthians. You are supposed to be teachers. But yet you are here. You are still babies. I feed you with the male cannot sell in the food. Here yeah, the scripture says, as long as an heir, imagine, yule waku, yule waku rivi. Bipi anaseme ya kwamba, as long uyu murivi ni mutoto. As long as he is a child, he is no different from a slave. Yule ambaye ni wakurivi, angali akiwa mtoto, ana any difference from a slave. Although he owns the whole estate. Imagine kuna watu wana mungu, anawagojea wawe machua. 
Hebu tuende verses 2. He is subject to guardians and the trustees until the time set by his father. Yaani unaundaundwa unapelekwa hivi mali yako inasimamiwa na wengine. Na unajua ni vibaya kuna mtu mmoja kuna mtu mmoja mali yake mali ya baba yake ilizimamiwa na ikaenda karibu yote na karibu yote na yule ambaye msimamishi mnamkumbuka yule kijana wa wa wa, wa, wa Jonathan mnamkumbuka ukisoma huko mbele hata ingawa mali ililetwa ni kama aku benefit so much look at this let's go to verse 7 now So you are no longer a slave but a son and since you are a, a, a son God has made you also an heir Now listen number 5 owning your own estate owning your own estate when you a um, benefit of this in maturity in christian service is that you own that means when you mature you live beca- you know you live becoming a baby you are the entire asset is released to you from the hands of the guardians but when you do not mature you will live uh, as some baby and you are you are you are assets on being guarded and managed by other people That's the difference between you and the other person. When you do not when you mature, God makes you. When 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 Paul was writing these things in Paul's time an heir who was not of age and no authority above the authority of a house girl or a house slave. Yes, if you're not of age, but when you're of age as you serve the Lord the lord will release your entire estate to you that's why the scripture was asking if you do not know how to manage other people's property who will release property of your own god is is you are an heir from your from your father there are things that you are supposed to do here there is a calling there is a purpose there is a divine destiny there is a divine purpose for you and you know and when you do not do that and you die you have died with a lot of blessings let me tell you when one man is at his stake a lot of men let me tell you you carry blessings did you know that you are an important fellow because no one does what you do he has put you in that position so that you may become a blessing When you serve the Lord you are calling a lot of people na unajua kuna watu watakufa wholesale wakibeba mbalaka za wengine You see therefore don't joke with your service and where you are make sure you do it maturely and make sure that you do not give devil an opportunity to destroy May the Lord help you to be a blessing to many others. May whatever you do you do it maturely knowing that you are carrying other people's businesses and other people's success in Jesus name. Now, in the conclusion, God God's work done in God's way will never lack God's limitless provision. I don't know whether you have heard me. God's work done not in your way because whatever you are doing you are doing it on behalf of God. Listen to this. God's work done in God's way will never lack God's limitless provision. Praise the name of the Lord. God will open provisions that are not limited when you serve him in his way not in your way. Number two, as I Uh, as uh, I conclude can I warn you you can easily retreat back if you don't take care of your personal progressive growth unaweza kurundi nyuma did you know that 
Shetani zi wa kuchezea. Let me tell you, you can easily treat. May the Lord help us to serve the Lord, the living Lord, the living God without retreating. And you people of the mountain, I am giving you a warning because the people of the mountain have started retreating back. They have started retreating back to, uh, to the gods of the mountain, to the gods that are praying under the trees. Under the rocks, the Bible says God spoke through Jesus to the Samaritan woman that a time is coming. And it is here that we shall not worship the Lord in the mountain or worship the Lord in Jerusalem. A time is coming and now we shall worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Ni dia negotiation somewhere. Then a pastor, a own bishop. Tuko tuna negotiate. Alafu ananiambia, bishop usinjari. Mimi I am mimi alikuwa na nena na kikuyu. Ona akolo de mohonoki, no de mugikuyu. You see that's opening and door for retreating. Anataka kuniambia kwamba. Hey sta kusema wengi wamenifanya maandui kwa sababu ya hii lakini let me tell you this is my stand nikiona mtu wa aina hile na uko hapa utahama we cannot mix altars we cannot haleluya najua watu wanaweza kusumbuliwa du moja mchungaji Mtu uh, mtu mmoja ame, ameingia kwa kwa matatu na huyu mtu alikuwa alikuwa uh, 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 watu wa miungu ya milima na mito na miti akaanza kuzungumza ah muri muri ndanganywa muri ndanganywa ya kwamba ya kwamba eka mkandanganywa ni wazungu mkazao miungu yenu sisi Mungu wetu anaishianga kelenyaga sisi Mungu wetu anaishianga uko kelenyaga mumendanganywa sisi Mungu wetu na watu wakakimia kulikuwa ndugu mmoja akasema bana eh mbona tumeshumbuliwa namna hii akauliza njamaa Kwani mko na kamungu kandogo namna gani? Kamungu wako ni kandogo. Kamungu wako Ken ni kandogo. Mungu wangu ambaye ni naye muabundu ameumba milima yote ya dunia plus yako Ken. Akaumba mito na miti yote ya dunia anaaka au kamuti kenu mnaomba ameumba hiyo yote alafu watu wengine wakaanza kusema ndio brother haleluya na walikuwa kwa walikuwa kimya amen brother say more haleluya mungu wetu ni mkuu na walikuwa wamekimya walikuwa wamevanywa kimya uwezi kuninyamashisha juu ya kusema imani yangu juu ya mungu don't retreat you can easily retreat as you serve the lord point ya mwisho ya conclusion Second Corinthians chapter 8. Now as you excel in everything. Look at here. Excelling in everything. In faith, in utterance, in knowledge, in all earnestness and in all love for us. See that you excel in this gracious work also. Excel in your service. I say this not as a command but to prove by the honestness of others that your love is also genuine for you know the grace of of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet uh, for your sake he became poor so that by his poverty you might become rich and in this matter i give my advice it is best for you now uh to complete what uh, what I hear and go you began not only to do but to desire verses 11 so that your lendness uh, in desiring it may be matched by your completing it out of what you have for if the lendness is there it is acceptable according to what a man has 
not according to what a man has not. The Bible has said here that you should progress. The, my last point is therefore, as you serve the Lord in maturity, uh, be consistent and progressive. Be persistent and be progressive. Do not be destructive. Do not go back in your service. As you serve the Lord, make sure there is progressiveness. That's why Paul says, I want to know a more. You should desire to serve more. You should desire to grow more. You should desire to talk about a more. You should desire to do more, even in your business, even in your everything. Today, in the school of ministry, I was telling my student, I remember, I became a businessman when I was in class 6. I was like, I must, I must accomplish what God wants to, uh, for me in business. Imagine in class 6, I was eating the, in the best hotel. The best hotel hapa mnanjua uh, mnanjua wakati huni nani kwa sababu nilikuwa na uza mboga zangu nilikuwa na unajua mambo inaweza kuja ikukwamishe kuna sakamza zinaweza kuja ikwamishe mambo yako hata ingawa hata kufanyia kazi Mungu hata ingawa hii ni business because Jesus said I am in my father's business May the Lord give you ideas to be progressive in the name of Jesus. I declare because of that your family will succeed. Your business, your job will succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you ideas of progressive as you serve the Lord in everywhere. In the church, in the community, in your area of service, in your area of business, at your own family. May the Lord give you progression. Can we stand up before the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ? May the Lord God, may the Lord God be exalted. Let's stand before the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. <speaking in Hebrew>
I thank you. Rama Sheka, a path has been cut for your progression. I declare multiplication of your steps and progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the devil has stolen from you, yes, it has come out. And now God is progressively blessing you and maturing you and releasing your estate. May you receive an acceleration in your progression in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Put our hands together for Jesus. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Uh, the Lord, we thank you. Lord, we lift what we are giving this uh, uh, afternoon in the form of tithes, in the form of thanksgiving sacrifices, in the form of uh, uh, in the form of fast fruits, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the form of seed, because in the wengi wanakula seed pamoja na chakula Jehovah God my Father wale ambao wanapena in the form of uh, ordinary offerings, oh God or love uh, of free will offerings uh, or maybe uh, uh, Maybe a honor to the prophet, maybe a project, maybe a donation, Lord, my Father, my God, I declare that Jehovah God, you shall receive, you shall receive our giving, so oh God, with the pleasure, Jehovah God, may it be like a sweet aroma before the throne of your mercy, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Wale ambao siko kwa simu utatumia mahali pale nimebarikiwa hata wewe wale ambao wako mbali wanatusikiza unaweza bariki unaweza barikiwa may the lord continue to expand you may you be expanded may the lord make you your service grow in him in the name of jesus christ may you never lack in the name of the lord may the lord multiply you may the lord give you good health in the name of jesus christ perfect Health shall be, shall be your, your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Success without failure shall be a portion uh, for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord loves you the way you are. May the Lord continue to lift you. May the Lord continue to love you the more. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May He come in a strong way to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because He is a wonderful God to you for His own glory. I declare clear now you are blessed and you are lifted in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and all of us say and all of us say